Let me ask you about GPT-4. There's so many questions. Uh, first of all, also amazing. It's looking back, it'll probably be this kind of historic pivotal moment with three, five, and four, which had GPT. Maybe five will be the pivotal moment. I don't know. <laughs> hard to say that looking forwards. We never know. That's the annoying thing about the future. It's hard to predict. But for me, looking back, GPT-4, Chad GPT is pretty damn impressive, like historically impressive. So allow me uh, to ask, what's been the most impressive capabilities of GPT-4 to you and GPT-4 Turbo? I think it kind of sucks. Hmm. Typical human also. Gotten it's... used to an awesome thing. No, I think it is an amazing thing, um, but relative to where we need to get to and where I believe we will get to, uh, you know, at the time of like GPT-3, people were like, oh, this is amazing. This is this like marvel of technology. And it is, it was. Uh, but, you know, now we have GPT-4 and you look at GPT-3 and you're like, that's unimaginably horrible. Um I expect that the delta between five and four will be the same as between four and three. And I think it is our job to live a few years in the future and remember that the tools we have now are going to kind of suck looking backwards at them. And that's how we make sure the future is better. What are the most glorious ways in that GPT-4 sucks? Meaning... Uh, what are the best things it can do? What are the best things it can do in the the limits of those best things that allow you to say it sucks, therefore gives you an inspiration and hope for the future. You know, one thing I've been using it for more recently is sort of a, like a brainstorming partner. Yep. And for that. there's a glimmer of something amazing in there. I don't think it gets, you know, when people talk about it, it what it does, they're like, oh, it helps me code more productively. It helps me write more faster and better. It helps me, you know, translate from this language to another. All these like amazing things, but there's something about the like kind of creative brainstorming partner. I need to come up with a name for this thing. I need to like think about this problem in a different way. I'm not sure what to do here. Uh, that I think like gives a glimpse of something I hope to see more of. Um, one of the other things that you can see like a very small glimpse of is when I can help on longer horizon tasks, you know, break down something into multiple steps, maybe like execute some of those steps, search the internet, write code, whatever, put that together. Uh, when that works, which is not very often, it's like very magical. The iterative back and forth with a human. Well, it works a lot for me. What do you mean? It uh, when, iterative back and forth with a human, it can get more often, but when it can go do like a 10 step problem on its own. Oh. It doesn't work for that too often, sometimes. At multiple layers of abstraction, or do you mean just sequential? Both, like, you know, to break it down and then do things at different layers of abstraction and put them together. Look, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, downplay the accomplishment of GPT-4, mm -hmm. um, but I don't want to overstate it either. And I think this point that we are on an exponential curve, we will look back relatively soon at GPT-4, like we look back at GPT-3 now.